Well, I was born in the world famous town of Frost, Minnesota, a healthy town of probably 430 people. We lived in an upstairs apartment about two blocks from where dad worked at the creamery. Tom, my younger brother and I spent a lot of our days with mother because my dad worked a considerable amount of time. There were very long days and everything. And his work ethic was always an impressive uh, example for me. Tom and I would play creamery, if you would, just to imitate what dad was doing. And kind of hero worship for Tom and I. Growing up, my brother and I swept the storerooms and we packaged butter and powdered milk. We loaded trucks and drove the trucks down to the railroad depot where we loaded on boxcars. After I got injured, uh, Mary's the one that made the initial suggestion that I might as well go back to college. We had two children while I was in college and she was working full time and supporting that and seeing that those little kids got to their babysitter and going to work and making a nice home. Education uh, serves to give you the tools that you don't even appreciate while you're getting the education. Because the dairy industry is more or less a global industry, you gotta have a good attitude. You can't let things knock you off course. In challenging times, trying to accumulate the knowledge and the funds to stay competitive it was a challenge. Those obstacles were really opportunities, and we faced them that way. Success is being in a very competitive industry and being able to survive in that industry. It takes time and effort and your attention, and it should come first. It pays for everything else you do. It's a great personal honor for me to become part of this esteemed group. And I'm not sure that uh, I should stand way in the back for the picture, because I certainly don't, haven't done or accomplished what those people have all accomplished. It's, it's a real distinct and personal honor to do that.